Welcome back to another episode of What Should I Get Pierced? My name is Scott Wilkinson. I'm a professional body piercer and have been since 1994. Now on this show, what I do is I'm gonna look at six different people who have sent in their pictures of their face and their ear. I'm gonna tell you what piercings they could possibly get and ultimately what I think would look best on them. Before we get started, make sure you hit that like and the subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. Now up first, we have Mandy. So let's take a look at Mandy. Now looking at Mandy, we automatically see that there is a septum piercing already, and that gives us a lot of room to work. Now when I see an individual piercing, like a septum piercing, part of me wants to keep things kind of going right down the middle this way. And what I mean by that is if she wanted to get like a bridge piercing up here, that would look really, really cool, as well as something as simple as a labret piercing or the Medusa piercing. Any of those piercings centrally located would work really, really nicely with the septum piercing. Now also with the septum, you always have the option of adding the trifecta, which means adding a piercing on each side of her nostril. And then as far as a little higher up, possible eyebrow piercings. Now another fun thing to do is we could do her eyebrow piercing over on this side, and then to kind of balance things out, we could also do maybe a lip piercing on the other or even the spider bites because you have the two beads up here and the two beads down below. Ultimately, this gives us a lot of options, but my ultimate pick is going to be the eyebrow and the single lip piercing. Now, let's take a look at her ear. So looking at this ear, we're gonna see the stretch lobe and the single conch piercing. And I know the other side, she has just the uh, stretch lobe piercing. So we'll start here with the conch side. And with this, you can see automatically that there is a very pronounced tragus. With a pronounced tragus, you can definitely do a tragus piercing there. And when it heals up, a ring might even work really well because it'd say it would lay nice and flat to the side of her face. Now also you can see that the forward helix area has a lot of room underneath so we can fit forward helix piercings in there. Um, and then also just simple helix piercings. You could fit one right up in the middle, maybe three or four as well. There's a lot of fun options with the helix piercing. Now as far as my ultimate pick here, I'm going to say a tragus piercing and a double helix. Up next we have Michelle. And Michelle is actually from Arizona, so she is super close to me, and she mentioned that she might actually be coming up to eventually get pierced. So I would be looking forward to that. Now, looking at her face, I don't really see any piercings whatsoever. She could have a septum piercing hidden, or it could be oral piercings, or she has nothing at all. But if I had to pick something here, I'm immediately drawn to her nose. Looks like a septum piercing would work really well. Um, also a possibility of a bridge. It looks like that's pronounced well enough as long as it doesn't dig into the bone, of course. And then I could also see a Medusa. Nice Medusa piercing. You can get away with a nice large gem there. Snake bites. Definitely snake bites would work well. And possibly Dahlia piercings. I can see Dahlia piercings on her as well. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I am going to say a septum piercing and some dahlias. Let's take a look at her ear. Now, looking at her ear, immediately you see a little stretched piercing on the bottom. And if that is a stretched one, not just a normal one, keep stretching. I like where this is going. Now, and if you did that, you could always add a few more lobe piercings and possibly stretch them up a little bit. I've always loved the look of the, the big to the medium to the slightly smaller on top of that. Now, there's also enough room on the tragus. You can see that's very well pronounced. Um, doth piercing. I can totally see the doth being pierced here. And a conch. You can see how she has that nice large area right there. We could definitely do a piercing and heal it up and put a ring in there eventually. Or you could do that large gem cluster, like a five gem cluster in here. I'm a big fan of that one. And last thing I'm going to suggest would be some helix piercings. You can see this rim goes nice all the way down. You can do small gems, big gems, rings. The options are virtually endless. As far as my ultimate pick, I'm going to say a double lobe piercing, a helix, and a rook. So up next, we have Dallas. So let's take a look at Dallas's face. And... Just awesome. Right away, Dallas is no stranger to piercing. We've got the septum, the nostril, snake bites. Uh, I can definitely see some metal hanging out of his ears, but we'll get to the ears soon enough. 
Now, first thing we're missing is the other nostril piercing to make things all balanced and symmetrical, unless you're going for that other look where it's not quite, but that's one thing I would suggest. And then another possibility would be high nostrils. I could see high nostrils on there to kind of complete everything. I love a lot of nose piercings. I don't know if you know if I'm a fan or not, but big fan of that. We could also do eyebrow piercings. You could do the outside ones, but honestly, I see them in more. I totally see some inner eyebrow piercings, just like so. That could look really, really fun. And as far as my ultimate picks, I'm going to say the nostril and the high nostrils. Take a look at his ear. Once we look at Dallas's ear, you can see that uh, there's plenty of piercings here too. And if we look at his other ear, you can see that they're pretty close to balanced. Now, as far as changes go, what I would do is I would possibly do something, maybe a smaller ring up top, possibly put in a plug instead of the ring. Um, you get into that size, maybe stretch up one more size and you can have that nice big ornate piece of jewelry up there. And then if you notice right below, there's another little helix piercing being hidden by this piercing. The fun option here is if we put the plug in the center here, we could also do a full rook on the other side, kind of creating the triangle of piercings across the top. Really, really cool look. Now, as far as the conch goes, you can see that there is a conch piercing here and there's room to do another one slightly above it. A second conch piercing would be really fun too. As far as the tragus, plenty of room for a tragus piercing. As far as the doth piercing, I don't know if there's quite enough room to do the doth, so I would probably steer away from this. Plus, if you get a double conch, why would you need a doth? My ultimate picks, I'm going to say do that second conch piercing and the faux rook and change the ring out top to the plug. Up next, we have Kiara. And when we look at Kiara, we can see a couple piercings to start off with. First, it's going to be a nostril piercing. You see a nice little gold ball right in the side there, as well as the septum piercing. Nice, tight, snug little ring. I love this look, but you got to heal it up to get to this point. Now, the only thing I think we're missing is going to be that other nostril piercing to complete the trifecta. Now, another fun option here would be a Medusa piercing. Because the septum ring is so high up, we can actually get away with having the Medusa in there as well or even the gestrum if you wanted to have the double bead look. And there's also the possibility of an Ashley, just straight in. It looks like the shape of her lips. We'd be able to a nice forward facing gem. Always a super pretty look. And as far as my ultimate picks, I'm going to say the nostril and a gestrum. Now, let's take a look at her ear. Awesome. I love this flower look and gem look up here. This is just beautiful. Um, I wonder if she was ever planning on going to the triple forward helix because we could add that last one right up there to kind of complete the look. Um, it might be a little tight in there. I'm not 100% sure, but if you could do it, I'd say go for it. Now, as far as other piercings here, um, I would say maybe see if you can get some different jewelry for the back of this one. You can still see it. A nice disc pulled up nice and tight would completely eliminate that. And then you only have the forward facing gem on the front. Um, as far as cartilage piercings go here, I could totally see a doth piercing. The ring in there, a nice ornate clicker because it looks like she likes the fancy bling stuff here. And also we could do a couple of helix piercings. Maybe one or two helix piercings up top. Not to go all the way down, just kind of have the little separation there. Now, when we're looking at her other ear, you can see that there is the triple helix on the other side. She doesn't have that on her other ear. Just kind of balancing things out a little bit. You know, same but different. This is a super fun look. Now, the only thing I would say that we'd want to add to this would be something up in this area right here. It looks like that skin kind of folds over. And if we did that, we would be able to have another forward facing gem, just like one of these down here, right up top. You wouldn't be able to see it. It's not going through the back of her ear. It's just being tucked into that flap. So the disc will be just on the other side in there. So and the other option I would give you would be a conch piercing. I could totally see a conch piercing here with a nice big gem. Now, as far as my ultimate picks for both of these ears, this year I'm going to say the extra forward helix and a double helix up top. And the other ear is going to be the conch 
and that little flap on the top of the ear. Up next, we have Connor. Now, Connor doesn't seem to have any visible piercings, and he has glasses. Now, Connor also mentioned he was interested in eyebrow piercings, and I personally think that's a great idea. Now, with the glasses, we kind of got the symmetrical thing on both sides here, so I could see a piercing on both sides. That would look really, really nice. And if there was room, you could possibly even do a bridge it looks like the feet on the glasses go low enough. Sometimes if the feet go low enough on the nose, you can still get away with the bridge and still see it. So that's another possibility. Now, as far as other facial piercings, I'm going to say a labret piercing would work really well. I could also see a vertical labret on Connor. And also a septum piercing. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I'm going to say the double eyebrow piercing, and a septum. Now, let's take a look at his ear. As we look at his ear, you can see his ear is completely naked too. We need to decorate this. Now his ear has some great curves for a lot of fun piercings. Right away, you can see how this tragus pops all the way out, and that's screaming to be pierced, so I would definitely want to pierce a tragus on Connor. Um, you can also see the rook is a great candidate, the forward helix is a great candidate, we could do a conch piercing. You can almost see the light coming through back in this area. Um, and because that, it might be nice and thin and heal really, really fast. Um, earlobe piercing. Just a simple earlobe piercing gives you thousands of options for jewelry and different looks. So definitely see an earlobe, even stretching it. Looks like there's enough lobe to actually get that nice and large if you wanted to go big. Um, as far as helix piercings go, you can go all the way down to about there. Once you get into this area, they're generally a little more problematic. So I would say lean towards the top. Now, as far as my ultimate picks here go, I just thought of one more here. Check this out. We could do a transverse earlobe with a barbell side to side because his earlobe comes down far enough. That's really, really cool. Now, as far as my ultimate picks, I have to say the transverse earlobe, a tragus, and a conch. Before we move on to the very last person, if you enjoy this channel, enjoy this content, make sure you hit the subscribe and the like button. It really helps out a lot. Now, the last person we have to look at today is going to be Elise, and Elise is from Germany. Now, she did mention she was thinking about getting maybe a bridge and taking out the nostril because she wants the more symmetrical look, but there is a couple other options we could do here. First of all, if you got the other side of your nose done and put in a ring or change out so they're both studs, that could be a real fun look, keeping the symmetry thing going. You could also do high nostril piercings. High nostril piercings are super popular. I do so many of these high nostril piercings. And of course, it looks like your bridge is a good candidate for this piercing. Um, if that bone's all the way to the front, don't do it. It will cause problems, but I love doing bridge piercings. Now, as far as the eyebrows go, I could see eyebrows maybe on the outside edge here. Um, I wouldn't go in too far. Uh, as far as lip piercings go, totally see a vertical labret. Nice and symmetrical, nice in the center. And if you wanted to do lip piercings, you could always do the snake bites as well. Or even inner snake bites. Two close ones, just like so. Um, as far as my ultimate picks, I'm going to say the second nostril and the bridge. Let's take a look at her ears. Awesome. Check this out. This is a conch to conch industrial. These are pretty intense and that's dedication. I love the symmetry. This is going to be fun. Now, when we look at her ear, you can see that there is a rook that is just screaming to be pierced, which could go nice and parallel with that bar. Um, we could also do might be kind of interesting doing a helix piercing with a barbell kind of going straight through up and down so it kind of connects now if you did this it might kind of give an illusion that it might even be connected to the conch to conch industrial kind of a fun thing to do now as far as other piercings go i'd be afraid to take away from what she already has the doth there won't be enough room to kind of fit in with the conch to conch as far as my ultimate picks, I'm going to say that upper helix piercing, vertical, as well as a rook piercing. So, what would you guys think? Let me know in the comments. 
And if you enjoyed my video, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and of course, keep putting holes in your body. We'll see you all in the next video.